Hey there, I'm Al. Today I'm going to download and try Blender 2.9, which I'm very excited about. In a previous video, I stated that sculpting in Blender sucks. So we're gonna try out 2.9, see if it still has that lag issue. But before we get there, please subscribe, hit that like button. Let's get into it. A month or two ago, I made a video that says sculpting in Blender sucks. And I knew I would get lots of flack when I made it, but I meant it. I was using Blender 2.83, I think. And at the time, 2.9 was not in a stable release. So let's open up Blender. Just downloaded Blender 2.9. I'm very excited. Love this artwork in the beginning. Super cool. So let's go into sculpting. The test that I did last time, I call the circle test. I just made it up. If you watched the previous video above, what I was doing, I was uh, really trying to make a pro blender sculpting uh, video, but I just like got so frustrated, but I couldn't pinpoint what was going wrong or why it was so difficult for me. And I found out it was lagging a lot. So let me open up ZBrush Core Mini and kind of show you what I'm not talking about. So if I take a brush and ZBrush Core Mini, do a big circle, small circle, as fast as I can. If you see the edges here, everything looks fine. Uh, these jaggies are not what I'm talking about. That is due to Sculptress Pro being on. So that's something entirely different. But on my Wacom tablet, draw a circle as fast as I can. It doesn't look like a pentagon or anything like that. It is super smooth. So back in Blender, we're going to try this. This is uh, Blender 2.9. But before we get too far into this, I wanted to show you what uh, the specs are on my Mac. I'm not a hardware person, but I know that my graphics card is not super powerful. So I've got a quad-core i7, 32 gigs of RAM, and a Radeon Pro 560 with 4 gigs. Let's take a look. This is just the standard sculpting brush. Looky there. We have the same issue, at least on a Mac. So even when I go slow, it, it's ever so slight. So is this a big deal? To you, maybe not at all. But for me, I think it's a huge deal. For anybody who's trying to do sculpting in Blender, on maybe a lower end machine, what I have that works perfectly fine in Maya and ZBrush, 3D Coat, a Cinema 4D, all of these software, it, it really works great on. I've never had issues like I've had with Blender. Um, so that's a big deal to me, but we're not gonna stop there. So we're gonna check to see if this issue applies to my PC and see what kind of results we get. Okay, so I'm on my PC and I know this won't be an apples to apples comparison. One, because it's a PC and not a Mac. So right off the bat, we can't really have apples to apples. And two, the PC that I have is much more powerful than my Mac. So let's take a look at the specs. Here's the processor that I have. I've got 16 gigs of RAM and the graphics card is a 2060 RTX. Okay, let's open up Blender on the PC using the same Wacom tablet and doing that circle test and let's see if we get different results. I'm trying out a couple different brushes here. If I go really, really fast, you can kind of see those jagged angles, which is still interesting to me that even with this processor, this graphics card, and it being a PC, that I'm still seeing some of that. Honestly, with this system and this setup, this would not be a big deal. This would be hardly noticeable by anybody. So this is perfectly acceptable. The point that I'm trying to make is that you shouldn't need uh, this high end of a computer to not have lag with the default sphere, default settings, everything, this many polygons with sculpting. Okay, so this is the last test that I'm gonna do today. This is Maya 2020 on a Mac and sculpting in Maya is really terrible and I'll have to make a whole nother video as to why it's terrible. But I just wanna see if I drop in a default sphere and let's add some divisions to this thing. And we're using the same Wacom tablet, but let's do this little circle test. It's super, super smooth. We don't have any issues uh, with anything, any of those hexagon, pentagons, and blender, buttery smooth. Now, I would never do any real sculpting inside of Maya. That's not what I'm saying. I've seen people do amazing things and there's lots of great tools in Blender, but the optimization simply isn't there. If Maya can be this lag free with its sculpting tools on the same system, Blender should not have that much of an issue. They really need to optimize it, whether it's for a Mac or just lower end machines. They need to fix it because it's really limiting. I am just a guy 
with the computer. You can like it, you can love it, you can hate it. Quite honestly, most of you are going to hate it. So take this whole video with a grain of salt, but these are the results. So in the comments below, please tell me what I could have done differently. What would you have liked to have seen? Uh, just tell me how you feel. That'd be great. Thanks for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe. I will see you next time.